Hello, in this video we're going to uh, discuss a common question that I get from real estate agents in particular. And that is, how do you record the real estate commission when it comes in? And in most cases you're going to get a, a commission check from your broker that's going to show gross commission and then there's going to be uh, various deductions uh, that your broker takes and then you're going to end up with your net amount that you end up with. So. So the question becomes now, do you record every line on the uh, commission stub, expense by expense, or do you uh, just record the net that you received and uh, then you're done? And the answer to that is yes and yes, you can do it both ways. And I'm going to show you uh, how that works. And so let's, let's try a first scenario. Let's say you get a commission stub check in a statement. And for example, you know, the commission check came in on uh, December the 1st. Uh, then you, you know, you're saying, okay, where'd you put the money? Did you put it in your savings accounts? So let's choose savings. And let's say it's, you know, business income and it's commission income. And you can put the, I would always recommend putting the uh, property address. and then the amount. So let's say after the broker deductions were all taken off, you ended up with, let's say $2,400. Just enter that in there. And then if you have a situation where you are charging tax on your commission, such as we do in Canada, I know uh, not everybody does that in, in different countries but in some countries we do charge tax on real estate fees if that's the case then you're going to choose the tax and then you're going to enter this number as the amount including the the, the tax because the program will calculate the tax off of that figure here and you end up with your net amount that you ended up putting into your bank account so this entry works and you could uh, simply submit that just like that um, showing the income after all your source deductions off that your broker takes. And the reason this can work is that typically on your broker's uh, pay stubs, there's a, uh, a breakdown of the um, fees and so on for that particular deal, but there's also a year-to-date column, and your broker is already tracking all the year-to-date expenses. So in that case, you could just simply record the net amount each time and then at the end of the year when it comes to tax time or at the end of the year you could just simply do some entries to uh, uh, show the total amount of the deductions and so on or just simply show it on your tax return but in the meantime it would be sufficient simply to record the amount of money that is entering into your bank account so that you can stay, can stay consistent with the funds that are flowing and you can look at the year-to-date total on your last stub of the year for to hand your tax accountant and uh, along with this it'll be fine. So anyway you can just submit that and then you're done. So if I go now and search out uh, 123 Smith there's the entry that matches. Okay so that's uh, one way to do it. Another way to do it is now to record the total amount minus deductions. So let's say the total was 3,000 and your deductions are 600. So let's say 3,000 was the gross commission. And you can record the manually the GST portion of that. And you can just enter that. Now, how do you enter the source deductions? What I would do, simplest way to do this, is as a negative revenue. So let me explain that. What you do is you just show it as a repeating entry. So um, let's go December 1st again and let's just repeat the entry first of all and you can see now I've just copied it really using that repeat function but I'm going to change the amount so instead of the amount being a positive number I'm going to make it a negative 600 and you can then uh, use this and save that and call it a commission deduction and, and what I've done in the setup screen is I've set this up as a, an income item and called it commission deductions. And when I put in a negative number, it's a negative commission. So it's like an expense, but it's a nice way to show it because then when you look at the report on this, you can see that there's the commission income 
let's look on the right side it's better and then the commission deductions and the taxes are on the right margin and then the total income after deductions. so on the left side you can see the gross amount 3,000 minus 600 equals 2,400 net and then you have your various taxes and then it taxes out to 2,285 so anyway this is the other way to do it and you can just simply log the total value of the deductions if you really wanted to go to third level and show every single line by line deduction then you have to continue to add in the setup screen all the income categories for each deduction on your check and then show each entry as a negative number but like I say you could do this just as one entry or you could do it as two entries like I show here and uh, or you can do a you know the full thing which Really, I, I just don't understand why you would, why anyone would want to go to that much detail. Just keep it simple, and I think you'll be uh, well served. So, then later, just the other note to have here is that just make sure that every time you enter in um, something that's related to each other, you want to run a report on it later. Just make sure that the description field has a descriptor, like an address or a check number or something, so that later you can go down to the description search box and just enter in that descriptor from the description field to identify that transaction and all the related expenses will come up. So that's a handy way for you to run reports on your pay stubs. Anyway, I uh, hope that uh, gives you a couple options to uh, enter in your commission uh, commissions on your uh, real estate sales. And uh, thanks for tuning in.